So here we are uh, in the HCI lab in the VizBox room. Here we're visualizing code change over time. Uh, the Z axis here going up is the time axis. So at the top we have the end of the project. And at the bottom we have the start of the project. So we're kind of going through all the commits through history and kind of going through the project, seeing how it develops. The X and Y axis represents a function called a value parameter called cochange. And that's a measure of how often files were changed together. So if files are very far apart on this on a on a horizontal plane, that means they were not changed a lot together. But if they're very close together, then that means they were changed a lot together, hopefully logically related. So let's take a look at these lines here. The green circle is a source file. And this red dot traveling through time represents a test file. And as you can see, their movement is very similar. So they always stay close all the way through the project. And towards the end, they, in fact, they overlap. And you can't even see the test file anymore. So what we can see is these two files are very tightly coupled because they're always following each other. Is if I take that source file, so that was that green dot you saw. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to see the co-change of this. Uh, this co-change view that we see represents all nodes that were at some point changed with that node that I saw. So we still see that node. It's harder to see. There's, uh, you can see the purple uh, that, that's still highlighted. Um, so what can we say from this? So we're looking at all these nodes, and you can kind of see that it's very messy at the beginning of the project. We have a lot of nodes down here, a lot of testing, a lot of source development. And so we can say that a lot of the development for files relating to this feature was done at the beginning. And as you go through the project at the top, we have very few files changing. So development kind of bottomed out. You know, it kind of, they finished the functionality of the section, they had the testing, they moved on. This is a visualization by Bayer um, and all. And you can see this is the entire project on a, on a 2D code change, so there's no time information here. These files are kind of separated from the main group over here. So I'm going to highlight those. We're going to zoom in. And so these files should be logically related because they're very close together on, if you look at the wide scale. But there's even still some smaller nodes outside. So I'm going to zoom in again. And so these should be very related. And this square file here is a, a test file. So let's go back to the 3D visualization. So as you can see, this is kind of the opposite case of what we had before. So let's kind of see some trends. So right at the beginning of the project, this group of files, there, weren't, there wasn't a lot there. There's a few source files. Again, this purple one I highlighted was a test file. They're not really clearly moving together. So maybe, you know, weren't too related. But as we go through this, this section's uh, development, we start seeing some, source, some uh, test files appearing and some source files appearing. And it starts getting really thick. You can start to see some structures, like right here, you see these strong bands of greens, all uh, followed by these, these test files too. So you can see this test and the source development moving at the same time. So that means that even though you know, they're getting pulled around by this, in this co-change place, but the idea is they're getting changed with the same things at the same time. So they stay together, even in this weird movement pattern. So this is kind of the opposite of the case before, like I said. A lot of development at the end. So at, at the beginning, maybe it wasn't so test-driven development. There's a bunch of source, and maybe only one test file, this highlighted one. But towards the end, we can see that as we're adding source files, we're also adding test files. And that's what makes it grouped in the end. And so you could say that maybe they're doing some kind of agile methodology, or maybe even test-driven development, because they're adding tests as they go.